at the tail of the tape, Kevin Rivers Jr. He's 126, 22 years of also another young fighter. He's 6-0 with four knockouts. And you look at Rory, 26 years old, has a little bit of the advantage in the age, but his record's a little tough, 6-16 six and 16 with three knockouts. How do you see this? Well, I see this about the experience of, uh, of, uh, of a youth. And I see that uh, Kevin Rivers, 6-0 with five KOs, evidently he got a pop to his point. So I'm eager to see how he handles a guy with a lot of experience and he can be cagey and, uh, and survive in the ring. All right, let's start it up to our ring announcer, Henry Jones, to get us started. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on this very historic evening, we begin with a very special attraction. This is scheduled for four rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing, Introducing the principals first, first fighting out the blue corners, wearing the black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at a ring rough and tough, 125 pounds. A ring veteran that's not new to this, he's true to this. With 22 pro bouts to his credit, a Tar Heel ready to show his ring skills. City of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, please welcome Jason J. Rod Rory. And his opponent fighting out the red corner. He's wearing the red, black, and white trunks. He weighed in at a lean and mean 126 pounds as an amateur. He captured numerous local regions and the national titles now a perfect 6-0 as a pro five tails to his credit and quickly gaining recognition as the one to watch in the division today ladies and gentlemen hailing from landover maryland representing the legendary sugar ray leonard gymnasium of palmer park this is kevin casemo river sharon sands with the final instructions obey my command Protect yourself at all times and keep this fight clean. So there you have it. Both fighters touch him up. We are set for four rounds. Featherweight Kevin Rivers Jr. against Jason Rory again. Rich Kion is alongside Gary Digital Williams and Monty Two Guns Barrett. It should be an exciting night. Everyone's all in. We're all in. Let's give you a little rundown, if you will. Rivers Jr. wearing the black trunks and also has the red stripes, and then Jason Rory with the black trunks and the white stripes. Rory comes in, Monty, as we talked about, with a 6-16 six and 16 record, three knockouts, but again, one. you always have to throw it out when you step into the ring. Yeah, if you look at Rory, he's very dry, and I, and I look at that when, I, when, I, when the fight is starting off, you know, did he warm up enough? Did he do, what he had to, did he do enough warming up mm -hmm. inside the dress room? So that, that might play a part early as well. Yeah, and again, this one slated for four rounds. Rory's going to be very, very awkward for Kevin Rivers. He's a very awkward fighter, and uh, with the straight-ahead style that Kevin Rivers tends to have, we'll see what kind of patience he has tonight. Yeah, and you see right away Rivers trying to come out, being aggressive, using that left jab, just snapping it back a little bit. Round one, scheduled for four. Featherweight division, Rivers Jr. against Jason Rory right here, all in entertainment. Go fight live, GFL.tv. Good left cross, just missed a little bit right there by Rivers. Richard, if you look and see, um, uh, <clears throat> Jason is setting himself up for to get hit with a right hand, just like this now. Just did, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. leaning over right into the right, into the right yep, hand. Yep, yep, and Rivers with a great combination, a left and a right. Rory River missing Wiley, but tried to go for an opening right there, Gary. Rivers will use those body shots to his advantage. He, he comes from a a group of trainers that really express the body shot and uh, you look for a lot to that tonight. Yeah, Rory again with an overhand right. Oh, Rivers comes back with a good shot to the body. Went downstairs on that one. Oh, good right right there by Rory. That's a shot that scored. Good punching power by both of them. If you look at Rivers, Rivers, he played, he, he fits the part, you know, he, he's a clean cut kid. He, uh, he's well coordinated, he, he dresses nice, and you gotta take pride when you get step in that ring. It's not just about the gladiator part, it's, it's showmanship. And um, it's that, that's, part of, that's part of the thing with fighting. Fighting is also entertainment. And sometimes you get lost into the, to the match and we forget about the entertainment part. So I like that he's coming in with a lot of pride you know, and uh, he want to put on a good show. And he just scored with a right again, guys. Rivers comes in. He's a he's from a fighting family. His father was, a, was an amateur boxer, a top amateur boxer, DC Boxing Hall of Famer. So uh, 
he knows he, he comes from there. Of course, he comes from Palm Park, Maryland. That's the home of Sugar Ray Leonard and Andrew Maynard and Jamal Hinton, some great boxers out of this area. You know, and even from the onset, he's really using his combination uh, brilliantly and really mixing it up with those left. You see him snap another jab as well. We talked a little bit about this when we spoke to a lot of these fighters prior to tonight's contest. They were going to come out and be aggressive, and we're kind of seeing it early on with Rivers Jr. Oh, good left right there. Wiley, though. Rory's but you know very what? It open. scored. Yeah, it scored, though. Jason Rory, and you know, the one thing, Monty, and I think you can attest to this, when you flail about sometimes, you might land one, you might score one, but man, do you leave yourself wide open for your opponent to counter. Yeah, Rory is a very awkward fighter. I don't think he, he's, um, he's executed and know how, how to use it to his advantage. And the one slated for four rounds, featherweight division, Kevin Rivers Jr. out of Landover, Maryland, 6-0 with five knockouts. Jason Rory out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. His record is 6-16 six with three knockouts. And Gary, sometimes you wonder, okay, you got a long way to go. You're coming from out of state. A little bit of a hostile environment. Sometimes you just you want to be there, but you don't want to be there. Right. But the board's used to this. He, he comes in and sometimes takes about you know, so he knows how the game is played. 